Welcome back to Wise Men Company, everybody. I'm Ben. And I'm Noah. And today we're going to be talking about backpacking stoves. You know, traditionally, I like to just make a roaring fire and stick my pot of whatever I'm cooking directly into the coals and heat up or cook my food that way. But today we took out two different options onto the trail to see which one was better or what we liked or what we didn't like. I took this um, stove I built. This is an organic stove. It burns wood. Um, it burns from the top down and it produces a lot of heat with very little smoke. But I made it out of a paint can, a soup can, and this little windshield and cooktop is out of a tuna fish can. Noah, on the other hand, had something different. I used a uh, um, commercially available solid fuel stove. Uh, this came in one of the emergency kits that I keep uh, in my vehicle and in my wife's vehicle, and I wanted to give it a try. I didn't exactly use it the way I was supposed to, but uh, these are designed to burn with these little solid fuel uh, uh, tabs, and it comes with a package, uh, two packages like this. And again, this is a commercially available, uh, you know, made in China, uh, little uh, little stove. Um, my stove um, I had used once before, but I never cooked anything on it. So this was my first time cooking something on it. It wasn't exactly the easiest thing in the world. It took a little bit to get um, a right rhythm with it, uh, especially the size of wood pieces I was sticking in. I tried to stick in too big of pieces right off the bat and it just didn't burn real well, it didn't produce a lot of heat. It burned, but it was kind of like it was smoking stuff, not really producing a lot of heat. Um, eventually, Noah said, hey, maybe you should try smaller pieces, and once I started putting smaller pieces of fuel in, um, I got a good heat coming out of it, and I boiled the water fairly quickly after I realized the size of fuel um, needed to come down a little. With mine, I decided to try and use this um, organically and use uh, sticks and um, stuff to get it going and unfortunately there's uh, just not a lot of room underneath this piece and be honest with you I'm not even 100% sure that you're supposed to use this with how it is if you look at the picture uh, um, it looks like you're supposed to just turn this upside down you probably won't see it on there but turn this upside down put the fuel tabs in there light it up and cook on top of it uh, um, and uh, like this and so uh, um, you put your fuel tabs in this part right here, light them up, put your cup or uh, a pot, uh, um, you can tip it in for, uh, like I was using a stainless steel cup, so you can cook on it that way. I tried to do it with this as my base, uh, um, put sticks underneath there, and I'm, it, I got a great fire going, but if there's so little space, I don't know if you can see on that side, there's so little space to fit things down in here that I couldn't keep a fire going well. So I ended up needing to just build a base of coals in here. I put my cup next to it uh, and was able to boil my water uh, uh, that way, but didn't end up really using this until the very end when I was uh, boiling my, my noodles. I had a nice bed of coals, and even then, that went out so fast once once I stopped putting fuel on it. Like I, like I said, this, this probably wouldn't be my first option. I keep this in my bug out bag, so to speak, but this setup right here, it, it works. Uh, but like I said, I would prefer just to make a fire, a normal fire, and stick whatever I'm cooking directly into the heat. And this is very low profile. Uh, like I said, it doesn't create a ton of smoke. Um, it's a very little footprint. Um, you could probably do it with very minimal amount of wood uh, but it just it takes a little bit to get the right technique going and this is why we get out and use this stuff because if you don't get out and use it you don't know how it's going to work when the time comes and you could get leave yourself in a real pickle so that's why we kind of wanted to get out try these compare these against each other and uh, just see what the results were yeah the downside i see with mine is uh, i'd like to give it another go at some point using just the fuel tabs and see how it goes the downside that I see from that is uh, that if you don't have these, right. then, then you're really up the creek without a paddle. Yeah. Uh, and so you know, you, if you use these little fuel tabs up, and uh, I don't know, I know that they're not very expensive, but I don't know that these are something that you could just make at home on your own. Probably not. And uh, so any type of natural, organic things that you might find, again. For what I have this for, uh, being stuck on the side of a ro on the side of the road uh, uh, because of snow, uh, being here in the in the northeast, uh, um, sometimes uh, this year we had a big accident on I-78 where 
the road got shut down and people were stranded in their cars. Um, in a pinch, I could absolutely use this with sure. with the stainless steel cup. Uh, uh, get some water heated. Uh, um, but this, uh, I agree with Ben. This would not be my first choice of. It's not worth the weight to me to carry in my pack. Right. I'd just as soon uh, uh, carry something else uh, um, and uh, start a fire on the ground. Right. Yeah. Um, it's not exactly a. Uh, these are they're not heavy, but they do take up a sizable footprint in your pack. When you could have filled that with something else, more food, more water. All right, guys. As you can see, we got our food made. Maybe not the most quickest or efficient way to start cooking stuff, but these little stoves work, and uh, they don't take up much room. They're lightweight. Let us know in the comments what you guys like to use when you're backpacking or hiking. We want to hear from you. Make sure you're going down there and checking out those comments. As we've said before, we didn't know everything, and that's why we're out there trying this. If this is your first time joining us here on the Wise Men Company channel, we appreciate you coming. and Take a moment and hit that subscribe button right here uh, so that you're informed when we have our new videos and things that are coming out. Uh, yep. Don't forget to go visit us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Pull that off when it burns and dumps all over like that. <laughs>